You're watching the Phillips 66 Big 12 Championship here in Kansas City. The lights are out here at T-Mobile Center. The four seed Texas Tech taking on the one seed Houston. You're Jennings and Francis jump it up and Francis wins the tip. Jamal Shedd gives off here. Here's Emmanuel Sharp gets inside. Shot won't go. Fight for the loose ball. And eventually, Robert Jennings pulls it down. You got to go toe to toe with them on the glass. Frank look inside, and Jennings with the throwdown. Big thing, John, when you play Houston, you cannot let them get the first punch in that fist fight. Sharp wide open and buries it. Start of the 17th season, only Gonzaga with more wins. There's Francis, got great deep position, and he puts it home. As Yolaho wasn't able to hit. Again, Grant McCaslin having to play some different guys. That one from the corner, a three is good for LJ Price. Now knock down shots. Gives off to Isaacs. Pop gets inside as it rejected. North Carolina transfer kit from Minnesota who wasn't really making a, much of an impact, but then injuries led him to more playing time. Dunn the steal and the bucket. Damian Dunn with the deuce, and the lead is a dozen. He competed him against him in junior college. Dunn puts it on the floor, pulls up, and hits. Damian Dunn off the bench, and he's got six. They are relentless. Toussaint at the basket, ball fake. Watch Shot clock down. winding down. Isaacs from deep and buries it. They needed it. A three. You know, they know they're going to the NCAA tournament, John. They're going to be, a, you know, they're going to have a good seed. And it's probably a discretion, a better part of Bauer. Nice cut there by Lamar Washington getting a chance to play some minutes. McMillan had 17 in the win against BYU. Shed will try. Oh, Malik Wilson swooping in for the offensive rebound. The reason it's so valuable is because you take away the first action with your scouting and then you take away the rest of the play with your uh, uh, instincts. And a good shot right there by McMillan. Millen buries that one. Back on the court, he's wearing number six instead of 11. Obviously, some blood on his shirt. McMillan in transition buries a three, and all of a sudden, it's a five-point game. Back here in Texas Tech on quite a run, 13-0. Chance McMillan's had a good game. Yes, he had. Sharp leaves his feet, gives off Shed. Done. Done inside the three-point arc. It's a two, and it'll go. He's averaging about ten and a half. Quarter three. Cryer gets it to go. Houston by five. McMillan. Been a good first half chance. McMillan with ten. Yalaho off the glass and in. Yalaho, the freshman who's been in witness protection much of Sharp fires and hits Emmanuel Sharp from straight on from three. Isaac spinning, being harassed, and now Toussaint pulls up, hits and one. What a bewilderment. Take a look right here. Toussaint, Joe pulls up, knocks it down. Shed gets a little bit of the body. And it's almost like a heavy who does want to be out there, but man, is he tough. Isaac puts it on the floor at the basket and one pop. Watch this right through Sharp, and that's exactly how you have to play. When I say bully on the block, I obviously I obviously mean that. Come on, man. I can put a team together. I know. <laughs> Sazu Zalin. Wilson jumper, got it. And Toussaint, offensive rebound. The kid from the Bronx fighting down low. Kick up ahead. Wilson and the stuff. 
Great work by Jamal Shedd to find his teammate Malik Wilson. Valuable six and five guy in the country. He is a great defender. Cryer with a three, knocks that down, and all of a sudden, it's a 13-point advantage. Beat up ahead, Yalaho. Walton tries to save it. Francis will track it down. Francis at the basket, gets it to go. Pretty nice play by the big guy. This kid came as a freshman. There were about five guys better than him up front. Watch this. I mean, that's just beautiful job here. Pryor, and he knocks it down, and it is all Houston. Side good feed inside. Washington couldn't hit. And eventually, Kerwin Walton has it. Walton will try. And hit. He's got a little pick and roll action here with Shed. Sharp corner three. Got it. Shed inside. Finds Francis for the throwdown. Cryer fires and hits LJ Cryer with three more, and he's got 20. LJ won that championship as a role player at Baylor, obviously. And the stuff. And the lob for Francis, and he throws it down. Everyone is going to write down two names. That's going to be Jamal Shedd and Jawan Roberts. And he said, actually, that's a lie. They write down every single one of their teammates. They embody this culture of toughness and accountability as well as anybody Kelvin has coached. And that guy is a culture warrior also because he knows his role. Sharp going to work inside. And good feed finds Lott for the flush. That's so good. Cedric Lott was a non-factor who was supposed to not play very much. The Big 12 championship game after already winning the regular season title. And they will await the winner of our second semifinal. Nine the final and the one seed advances Houston leaving no doubt and they are into the championship game the Houston Cougars now 30 and 3 on the season